Port operations are easy when ships can load and unload their cargo seamlessly. Business owners clear their goods and move out their wares within a given time frame. This is not the case at the ports in Lagos, as congestion remains a major bottleneck. And it may stay that way for a while, despite efforts to tackle the trend. Several factors are responsible for these, including the capacity of the ports to handle and process the influx of cargo. This has led to cases of corrupt practices and the attendant chaos. And men in uniform, either naval or military, escorting vehicles illegally. According to the acting managing director of the MPA, about 5,000 abandoned containers take up space at various terminals. There are over 5,000 containers across the ports that are over time come. Why would a business owner abandon this container after spending so much to import same? In this container now, I have just approximately 12.8 million naira goods. Just because of some certain sizes that made me not to meet up to clear the goods, I am back now to clear these goods. Now, they said that my demorage uh, on the container is uh, uh, 29 million. Then the terminal charges is 20 million. At the port today, it is very, very you know, difficult for any importer to move his cargo out of the port because of the method Nigerian Customs Service have, you know, adopted in their operation. Now that we don't have any clear court clearance procedure in place, you introduce your cargo to the system, whatever you find in the process, that is your business. Unlike what we had in 2006 to 2010. Those who are eventually able to wiggle their way through the regals of cargo clearance would still contend with trucking, which could set them back by as much as a million naira. The truckers blame the high charges on the multiple checks, where they pay money at each point. The money they are collecting from our hand has affected our capacity to service our truck and meet some of our business obligation. The extortion is too much. While the commencement of rail services to the port sheds a glimmer of hope, barge operators say they move as much as a million TEUs of containers annually and could do more with proper regulation and funding. These the art could even spare the newly constructed port roads the burdens of wrong tonnage. We all know today how difficult it is to raise finances locally. And here we are as local operators competing with international operators who have cost of capital of zero and even when there's interest rate below 5%. According to a 2020 survey, Nigeria loses about 20 billion naira daily to congestion. This translates to over half a trillion naira annually, an equivalent of what is required to put up a minimum of 180,000 standard houses. However one chooses to transact businesses at the port, by road, rail or even the waterways, there appears to be obvious challenges, brick walls, that must be brought down by the minds of the federal government through deliberate policies and intervention, otherwise the people and the economy might continue to bleed from undue and avoidable losses. Chris Alems, Channels Television News.